guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk about all things curly hair related. Thank you for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. So today's video is maybe a little bit late because you know, we're heading towards the end of January, but I wanted to do my 2020 curly hair favorite products video because I have some really great products to show you guys. These are the ones that I've used consistently throughout last year and I'm still using consistently um, with a couple of honorable mentions for things that only just came out this year, but I really, really wanted to cover them. Anyway, we'll get to that. So first of all, um, I'm just going to say that I will list all the products in the description box along with links to the products, any discount codes that I have. Let's just get on with the video. First thing I want to show you before I get onto products is just a few hair tools that I just cannot live without. The first thing I was going to show you was my buff. Now you'll, you've probably seen uh, me or other curly girls talk about buffs. It's a long tube of fabric. They're usually polyester microfiber and they're used to protect your hair while you sleep. And this is what I use almost every night without fail. Oh, and it goes like that. All the curls get safely tucked away. Oh wow, that looks fashionable, right? <laughs> so then I sleep on my satin or silk pillowcase with this on and it protects my curls amazingly. Um, I get mine in multi-packs from Amazon and I will link them, as I said. Another thing that last year I fell in love with was this scalp brush from Sumalai. I've had scalp brushes before, but even though they had silicone bristles, they were kind of a little bit hard, not very comfortable to use. These, a little bit of ASMR for you, these are so soft. I can really, really scrub my scalp with this without any discomfort whatsoever. And a bonus, I can use this on my three-year-old. I can really scrub her scalp and she doesn't complain at all because when I used to try and do it with my fingers, she hated it. She doesn't mind this one bit. So I know her scalp is getting clean, which is a bonus. This is the perfect hair care towel. Um, if you look back on my channel, you'll see I did a dedicated video to this. I also did a video on various types of towels for curly hair. I really love this one. Out of all my towels, this is probably the one I use the most. It's unlike any other towel I've used and I love it. The last um, curly hair tool I wanted to talk about was, oops, I should have cleaned it first. This is my curly hair solutions, or that's the other name for the Curl Keeper brand. Flexi brush. I genuinely adore this brush. I use it every single wash day without fail. And if you want to see how I use it, I actually show it in my speedy wash day challenge, which is just a couple of videos back. So take a look if you like. But I love this brush. So when I was thinking about this video, I was trying to figure out which way to present the products to you, whether I should go brand by brand or type by type. I think I'm going to go brand by brand because I do have a few favorite brands and so the products kind of fall into two or three brands plus a few extras. So the first brand uh, of favorites that I want to show you is Naughty Hair Care. Now these are all my favorites from Naughty and I promise you I've tried to keep this video short and sweet and really, really take it down to my absolute favorites, but I'm sorry, just Naughty products are so good in my hair. We have the To The Rescue Shampoo and Conditioner. These are amazing. Now, although it says moisture boost, as you can see on both of those, they actually both contain a decent amount of protein and that is why my hair absolutely loves them. I use these more than any other products I own. I use the conditioner pretty much every single wash day. It's my favorite ever conditioner ever in the world. And I love the shampoo too. Then we've got the Curl Jelly, the Hay Curl Scrunching Jelly, which only just came out in 2020. And um, it's really, really lightweight gel, and I absolutely love it. We've got the Wave Hello Curl Defining Taining Cream, which again, a fantastic product. Um, I like to use this just as a single styler. I never thought I would just use a, a cream as a single styler, but it's so good. And also the Hello Curls Primer. So the Hello Curls Primer and the Hey Curl Scrunching Jelly are just a match made in heaven. The primer contains some protein, the jelly doesn't, and together they are. Mwah. The next brand that has more than one product in my favourites from 2020 is the gorgeously shiny and colourful Curl Keeper. So the product that I've been using for the longest is Curl Keeper Original. 
and this bottle is pretty much empty. Thankfully, I have another one on the shelf. Um, this product is amazing. It's a true holy grail for me. It is a runny liquid styler. Can you see that? I like to describe it as a curl enhancer. It doesn't have much hold and I always like to top it with something with a bit more hold, but it creates the most amazing, shiny, bouncy clumps in my hair that nothing else can replicate. I love it. Curl Keeper leave-in conditioner. This stuff is almost the only leave-in conditioner I use these days. I use this almost every wash. It's really lightweight and packs a punch of protein. Ooh, that was fun to say, packs a punch of protein which is one of the reasons that my hair loves it. It's such a good leave-in conditioner. I don't know where I'd be without this. And last but not least, the Curl Keeper Gel. This is a super thick gel, really thick. It's got strong hold and these three together, boy, they are amazing. This product from Bounce Curl, the Light Cream Gel, I've had this a really long time and it's such a good gel. It's one that I like to cocktail with other gels. In fact, I'll come to that a bit later. I've got a particularly good combo uh, with another favourite that I'm going to show you. But I just felt like I had to include this because, like I say, I don't often use it by itself, but it's such a good addition to a lineup. I love it because it's really lightweight and also has protein. Um, if you're protein sensitive, this is not the gel for you. Let me just say that. Curl Smith is another of my favourite brands and this is the most outstanding product for me in their line. That is the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly and I used this a lot last year. Again, it's lightweight, um, it's protein free, it's not heavy, it's just a fantastic gel. And these two babies together, the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel and the Curl Smith Hydro Flex Jelly, wow, a match made in heaven. Now here's where I'm slightly cheating because I have a couple more products I want to show you from Carl Smith, but they technically weren't around in 2020. They've just been released in 2021 and that is their new protein range. But I love them so much. And in fact, with what is in my hair today, I just really felt like they deserved a place in this video. So the Bond Curl Rehab Salve is a pre-wash bond repairing treatment that also contains protein. I've got the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam, which has protein and is a volumizing foam. I've got the Feather Light Protein Cream, which obviously contains protein, is a lightweight styling cream. And today I used these three plus the Hydroflex Styling Jelly. That is what is in my hair right now. And I was really, really happy with these wash day results. I just, um, it's the best wash day I've had in a while. I'm really, really pleased with it. So even though they only just came out this year, I just really wanted to mention them because I don't know when I'll be doing another favourites video again. And I felt like they deserved a place. And if you are in the UK, these purple label protein strength products are going to be released on the 28th of February. So only about a month to wait. So... Yay! Another absolute favourite of mine is the Hair Dance Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This stuff is just incredible. Now, what I want to show you, which I, I still can't quite get over, I don't know if you can quite see how much I've used. So it's literally up to the label, still full. Now, I've had this for, I can't remember how long, a really long time, and I use it a lot. And that's that's all I've used. I can't I can't believe it. You just need such a small amount and it just pumps up the volume. And um, if you've got at all greasy or kind of limp roots, wow, this stuff is amazing. And of course, it's completely good for your hair, good for your scalp, not going to cause any issues at all. And finally, um, I have three products I want to talk about that I don't as much use on my hair, but I do use them on my daughter's hair and they are absolutely brilliant. So first of all, the Hair Dance Intensive Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. As you can see, that is pretty much empty and the conditioner's about half empty. I use these on my nine-year-old daughter who has a slight wave in her hair, but they are so beautiful in her hair. And I have used them on myself too, and I like them, but particularly for Amica's hair, they are immense. The Bicelina Curl Cleanser and Conditioner. I don't often use it in my hair, but in Elodie, my three-year-old's hair, it's amazing. This is pretty much all we use on her hair. It means I can do it quickly when she's in the bath. I can do a co-wash, rinse it out. I use the, the scalp scrubber to do a thorough co-wash and then um, just add a little bit more of it into her hair and that is her. And this stuff is just amazing. It's really, really high quality and I love it. Plastic free, completely plastic free and the labels are made from rock paper. So no plastic whatsoever in these, which is amazing. So that's it guys. That was just my really quick rundown of my favourites for 2020 plus, you know, a couple
couple of other sneaky 2021 favourites. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any of these, if you've tried them, or if you have any specific favourites that you think I might like, then let me know because, you know, you can never have too many curly hair products. That's not true. You can. You don't need all of these. Let me just say that right now. You don't need to have that many products. So I don't want you to watch this video and feel like you have to go and buy all of these products. If you've got great products that are working for you, then just keep with them. But if you're in the market for some new products, then maybe that's giving you some ideas. Um, and anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, whatever it is you're doing, whatever time of day and night you're watching this. Um, thank you for being here. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Bye for now.